Hardy Diagnostics Hardy Valve Media Fill Test Kits are recommended for routine use in the monitoring of aseptic procedures used in compounding sterile preparations. The kit contains the necessary materials for one pharmacist or technician to perform the media fill challenge testing as specified in USP Chapter 797. Hardyville Medium Complexity Media Fill Test Kit contains 700 ml of triptych soy broth in a 1000 ml dual port bag, 6 empty sterile 100 ml dual port bags, 6 empty sterile 20 ml vials, one world pack bag, a results log sheet, and instructions for use. When performing media fill risk challenges, use procedures and techniques that most closely resemble those used during routine compounding of CSPs. If necessary, the following procedure may be modified to include more complex manipulations. Once begun, the test is completed without interruption. Label the empty 20 ml vials and the empty 100 ml dual port bags with the date the challenge is performed and the initials of the person performing the procedure. Remove the tamper evident seal caps from the vials and bags. After removing the caps, clean the septum ports with a sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol wipe. Hang the 700 ml bag of triptych soy broth inside the laminar airflow workbench or isolator. Remove the tamper evident seal cap. Aseptically transfer six aliquots of approximately 100 ml of sterile triptych soy broth by gravity through a tube set into the separate empty sterile 100 ml bags. Arrange the six bags into three pairs. Using a sterile 10 ml syringe and 18 gauge needle, aseptically remove a 5 ml aliquot from the first container in the pair and transfer it to the second container. Agitate the second container for 10 seconds and then aseptically remove a 5 ml aliquot and return it to the first container in the pair. Agitate the first container for 10 seconds and then aseptically remove a 5 ml aliquot from the first container and transfer it to the second container in the pair. Using a sterile 10 ml syringe and vented needle, aseptically remove a 5 ml aliquot from each container in the pair and transfer it into two separate vials. Repeat steps four through seven for the other two remaining pairs. Apply sterile adhesive seals aseptically to the rubber closures once the vials have been sealed. Carefully place the vials in the provided Whirlpack bag for transport to the incubator. A convenient write-on area on the bag may be used to identify the technician and the date of the test. Incubate the samples at 20 to 25 or 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for a minimum of 14 days. If two temperatures are used for incubation, incubate the samples for at least seven days at each temperature. Examine the samples every few days for the presence of turbidity or growth of bacteria. Growth may not be evenly dispersed throughout the vial. Tap or swirl the vial to observe for growth that may have settled at the bottom. If growth is observed, the vial may be discarded. Do not continue to incubate for the full 14 days. Visible growth or turbidity seen on or before 14 days of incubation is a positive test for the presence of bacteria. The media fail challenge test has failed and indicates that a non-sterile technique was used during the test. No growth or turbidity observed in 14 days indicates the media fail challenge test was successful and technique used during the media fail challenge test was aseptic. Record results on the results log sheet. Discard all used syringes, needles, and completed test files as biomedical waste.